challenges in growing tomatoes and solutions. Greetings from exotic Indian gardens. This summer, we tried something very special, and it was just tomatoes. The harvest we were making was 1 to 2 kilos of tomatoes every 2 to 3 days from just 50 plants. It was too much for a family of 3 so we were giving away to so many people. Ever tasted homegrown juicy sweet tomatoes from your own plant? Well tomatoes grown at home are worth trying because the ones you get in the market are artificially ripened by passing ethylene gas over unripe green tomatoes. Freshly grown tomatoes will contain more sugar because you harvest them when they are fully ripened in the plant. So what is stopping you from growing tomatoes then? Number 1. Pests. The three pests that trouble tomato plants are mealybugs, white flies, and the tomato hornworm. White flies are common when you have too many crowded leaves and less air space, mealybugs invade when the plants are weak and hornworms are air. The solution to white flies is proper pruning, maintaining ideal temperature with good sunlight. Do not grow mature tomato plants in shade. It is also important to grow tomatoes in a windy open space area. You can get rid of mealy bugs by just spraying water at high pressure on them and then checking the health of your plants. Number 2. Blight. Blight is the most common fungal disease threatening tomato plants. They can only happen when the airflow is less and there is too much moisture in the air. This is why farmers don't grow tomatoes in the fields during the monsoon season. You must try not to water the leaves, because they easily attract fungus. Keep the potting mix partially wet using a drip system or careful watering regularly. Never let the potting mix dry out either because tomato plants consume so much of water depending on the size of the plant. It's ideal to grow them in a dry season. If you see leaves affected by blight, discard them immediately before they spread to the rest of the plant. Worst case scenario you may have to remove the whole plant if it has taken over. Number 3. Bad Pollination. Never grow tomatoes from tomatoes unless you know they are an heirloom variety. Because most easily grown tomatoes are from hybrid seeds and hybrid tomatoes do not produce the same seeds which means you don't get the result of the parent plant from its seed. You either buy a hybrid seed packet from a good supplier. Heirloom varieties are less resistant to pests and blight, but you can use the seeds from its fruit for planting. Another important aspect to ensure good pollination is good fertilizers and smooth airflow. Whatever fertilizer you use it must contain more phosphorus and potassium. Nitrogen is not needed for tomato plants because it only gives more leaves. For pure organic growers bone meal is good. The product we use is NASA which is quite a bit expensive, but it is strong and it's organic. Number 4. Blossom End Rot. In order to prevent this black burn like stuff at the bottom of your fruit, your tomato plants require calcium and just nothing but calcium. Calcium can easily get drained away during heavy watering or heavy rainfall so frequent supply of calcium through fertilizers is necessary. The options are many. Fastest way to fix is using calcium nitrate spray on leaves or on the potting mix. The well-planned method is using bone meal or eggshells before planting as they break down over time. You can also use any other sources like gypsum. Number 5. Not enough fruits too much leaves. If you are looking for more fruit in your tomato plants, you must prune them. This means every time you see a new growth coming out between the lower branch and the stem, you must remove it. Be carefully not to remove the top. Always safe to leave out a section from the top of the plant to its successive node. And it is better to grow tomatoes vertically. Thank you for watching.